We are here at Don't Ever Bank Care Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. Come here for the retirement. Stay here for the drive through funeral services. Getting buried has never been so quick and easy. I wouldn't mind taking a dirt nap here. Although my dream for years has been to be soaked in rum, then thrown into a volcano. <laughs> I like the idea of going out with a bang. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Carolina Panzers battle. The Cruxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they both wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and nine. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. First down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. defense of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick second down and ten hot one hot two hot. and the runner is moving crazy fast look at the path he's taking a field and he's going to the races look at that little mutant run ah, i don't think you can see that man. Don't make any mistakes.
mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Third down and the punter is warming up. game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten the ground game should be their bread and butter a gain of eight right there hey anyone seen that korean kid yet with my barbecue last time i ordered korean i got kim jong il gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten oh, when the defense calls thunderclap the offense is toast oh did he ever get zapped reminds me you ever hear that zappa song watch out where the huskies go don't you eat that yellow snow when I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll bring up third and one. Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down and forever. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor.
And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mono. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. Third down and... The punter is warming up. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. It's not short, but look out. That's an all-out attack on the cue. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back. Thick. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Third and two. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, John! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll bring up third and one. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat.
And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Third down and, well, good luck. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it's first and ten. This guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Wow, and how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He is fighting for every... And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. catch chipping away with those medium passes i like it like a patient prison break smart move there stopping the clock with their first time out and for all you know maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash third down and three Two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Now, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Uh, uh, we're going to go to a strategic show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit.
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> he picks up 10 yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Well, I have fun. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. <laughs> Second down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down in a mile. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Yep. Literally. I will hell with all seven of them. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. He's not going down. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and look and like a monkey trying to... Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Mar of holy hell. I thought it was pressed. And the defense jumps outside trying to... And then on Sportsmanlike Play of the Day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway Exit 5. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot three. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Eight. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the look of it, extra crispy. Oh, he just got crushed.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Wow, he took like a thousand folks a shot there. He did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ant smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and after, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I... I guess it worked for her. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys. Get with it. Attack him and kill him. Third down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and never going to happen. Hot one. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That run is good for ten yards. Second down and inches. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And this player has warp speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. Man, what a hit that was. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Don't 
you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> Second down and two. Hot one. Hot two. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the deep. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pitch of hell for at least another three hours. Demons are so bony. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Just put on a display there. Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Touchdown! Did you 
pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Summon your own demons at home. <laughs> Kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. and magnetic personnel. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> the offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! And he smashes that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> Man, these guys have metal. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. The offense is looking for a miracle comeback, but for that to happen, they'll need to pick up this first down. I need a miracle every day, Grim. I need a woman about twice my age. And they're still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am... Uh, come on, man. You gotta catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. 
And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't... A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that is caught for a first down. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. One, three. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pig, Rick. The Crux and Skull Jugulars took their city's name to heart and win the game. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I have wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Corporation. They get it right every up.